revolutions don't happen for no reason. Whenever there's a revolution, there are a few things that happen. The very first thing that happens is somebody gets mad about something. And once they get upset about something, they decide to take action. I want you to be upset at yourself. I want you to be mad at the fact that you know that you're capable of more. But specifically, I want you to be upset with the fact that you're not generating the revenue that you're capable of producing in your business. That you're producing, at best, mediocre results. And so, with a revolution, somebody has to get mad about something, but it doesn't become a revolution until people start taking action for the purpose of making a change. Hello, uh, my name is Ross Commodore. I'm currently Senior Loan Officer uh, for Monarch Bank. I provide financing for uh, residential uh, homes um, for people who are looking to purchase homes as well as uh, refinance to uh, lower their monthly payments. Hi, I'm Loretta Lancaster. My business is the When I Grow Up Picture Company. We serve the metropolitan Washington, D.C. area. What we do is we provide school pictures. I don't know. Um, if you remember being in school when there were those people who came and did the pictures at your school, that's what we do. So we have um, contracts with many of the schools in the metropolitan area. Oh my goodness, I have had amazing personal setbacks. I've had so many setbacks in my business, I, I can't tell you. One personal setback that I've had is I, I just didn't realize that I actually wasn't competent enough to start a business. And a lot of times people start businesses and they don't realize that there's so much to know. And, you know, any person anywhere thinks, oh yes, I want my own business one day. And what I have come to find out is through information is how you overcome those kind of setbacks. And one of the setbacks that I've had is just not knowing enough, not knowing enough about marketing, not knowing enough about sales, not knowing enough about accounting not knowing enough about workflow and business operations. And I'm unbelievably happy that I met Trevor. I don't know where I would be if I hadn't had the opportunity to work with uh, Mr. Ross. I've known Trevor for years. Um, we have a long uh, relationship um, with real estate. Uh, he owned a real estate company. Um, his office referred um, many, many, many clients to me. I basically provided financing um, for their purchases. Where was your business at prior to meeting Trevor? Nowhere. I had a great idea, but I wasn't making any money. The thing about Trevor, he always has something new for you to do to make your, to improve your business. Every time we sit down and talk, there's always something new. There's always something that he just found on the internet that's been sitting in closet for a couple months or even a couple years um, that will enable me to take my business to the next level. Now one of the problems with doing something new, many veteran business owners such as myself, we don't want to do anything new. We want everything to be exactly the way it was before, but we want different results. And one of the things about Trevor, he'll give you a homework assignment, it'll be a little bit difficult, but when you make it out on the other side, you are guaranteed to make more money than you ever thought possible. Now we're in a new day as far as um, how one uh, interacts with uh, the consumer. Most people, whatever they're looking to purchase, whatever services they're looking to get, the first place that they're going is online. With Trevor, it is the technology. You know, I didn't know what I didn't know prior to meeting Trevor Ops. Trevor has perfected a way to market yourself or your business to the masses um, and in some instances you can blanket your reach or you can narrow it down to a specific type, gender, profession, whatever it is that you're trying to target, uh, he's perfected a way to go after that particular client. So with that, um, I solicited his services not only just to do the real estate, but also to help me get to the next level um, with reaching that type of consumer. One of the reasons I started uh, working with small business owners is because 
I realized that there was this challenge. And small business owners, we, we struggle sometimes with having the resources to carry out our vision. And we believe that that lack of resources is actually uh, a weakness. But I've learned that that lack of resources is not a weakness. We actually learn how to do more with less. And we have to really harness the lessons of the things we learn when we're working with a little bit of resources. Because we have to learn to do more with less. And I help business owners do that, help them maximize that. And so we really do help people market any business, any product, any service, any mission, on any budget. And one of the things I want to help business owners do around the world, I want to show them how to automate their businesses and multiply their profits 